お前はどこまで見えてるの<笑><笑>Okay, so Aegon's a dick. She flaunts the privilege of her inheritance without shame. She expects everyone in the Red Keep to deny the truth, our eyes fall plain we see. And the king, her father. He knows. Of course he knows. Or did once, but has convinced himself otherwise, he'll do naught but make excuses for her. The Princess Rhaenyra is brazen and relentless. 
A spider who stings and sucks her prey dry. Spoiled cunt. Wow. Kristen's fallen so far. Oh, that's dope. Hello, Caraxes. Nice introduction. Is this Dawn? Oh, I'm glad we're seeing some fucking dragon action. Who's this? Is that Lena? Is she riding? Who? who what? This dragon's huge. No, no, this dragon is fucking huge. Damon's fireproof again? What, what happened there? Nah, is that Vega? It can't be. They said that Vega was still alive, right? Lena was actually talking about that when she was with Viserys. He does not look like a Targaryen at all. Kristen. Deserves this. He deserved it. <laughs> Bad stuff is happening, man. This political game is so twisted. Become a bitch. What's happened? Rhaenyra is fucking up. Kristen's an asshole. Lena's a pussy old. Damon's a nomad. I have come to resign my position as hand of the king. What? Why? In the episode in the yard this morning, my son Halloween has disgraced himself, and every fishwife in King's Landing will soon be telling the tale. And the Harwin's outburst was unfortunate, it's true. But he's been expelled from the city watch. That seems punishment enough. Mm. Wow. Your grace, it is not. But there is a shadow over my house, and it grows ever darker. I can no longer serve you with integrity. What is this shadow? He knows. Name it that casts such a gloom. Yes. You must have your reasoning in plain language. Is she looking for a confession? I cannot. Then I cannot accept this. My dear husband. I said no. If you insist, my king. I do. I've reached the limit of my art. Child will not come. No, don't slit her open. 
Oh, she's gonna die a dragon's death? Did she just leave? And no one came out with her? No, he's not gonna do that. She? That is a dope looking fucking dragon. What about your children? Oh, I love the look of Vega. It's got like moss and ropes and hair and shit. No! Lena, baddest bitch in Westeros. And Damon was finally showing emotion. Damn it. It's how I'm strong, my father. Oh, shit. Am I a bastard? Oh, shit. You were a Targaryen. No, speak to him properly. If he's smart enough to figure that out, you need to have a conversation with him. Maybe not tell him the truth, but don't tell him that. Flame. No! Harwin! Well, you're strong! Come on! No, they killed Harwin? I just realized he killed his brother. Holy grace. Spoken Hebrews by Aaron the Black as a monument to his own greatness. Blood mixed into the mortar. It is said to be a cursed place. But it passes judgment and all who pass beneath its gates. You. You pass judgment. Oh, she did not order this. Queen makes a wish. Want the servant of the realm, but not strive to fulfill it. I assume you will write to your father, no? Paris. I did not wish for this. I feel certain you will reward me. When the time is right. Oh, Laris, you son of a bitch! How did Lionel die too? He killed his brother and his father? And there were people thinking that Lord Lionel Strong, the most loyal person in the realm, was playing both sides like Palpatine. That, that was one hell of an episode. So much has happened. The status quo has changed a few times now. It's going to take me a while to just remember and just soak in everything that I saw but one thing is that the, the performances didn't change I love the actresses for Alison and Rhaenyra I don't know man I'm on Alison's side because Rhaenyra seems to be just fucking up I would never have thought that she would have had children with Sir Harwin and I know they didn't really say it but they alluded to it hard like, hard. I don't even know if Leno and her have been sleeping together or have tried to have children. Because you'd think, as Alison said, one is okay. But three times, three children, the same person, and none with Leno. I don't know, man. It's like she wanted this shit to happen. But then, Alison has also been, not bratty, but you can see that she's got more power now. Or, she, or that she's a little bit more confident in herself in the role that she plays. But she's still feeling it slip through her fingers. Her children are assholes. The king is just naive and rightfully protects his daughter. And she has no allies. So she's turned to Laris. Not in, not in a major way. I'm just disappointed in where their characters are at the moment. I'm interested to see what happens with Aemond. Because I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously getting some Tom Riddle vibes. He seems like a 
I know we have to talk about Kevin kind of child. <laughs> or he could be... I don't know. I feel like his brother being a dick is a red herring. But we never know. Oh, but there's a lot that happens. I definitely missed out some things. It was a long ass episode. And I'm still trying to get to grips with the time jump. And the things that have been implied that have happened in the time skip. And just trying to center myself in this world again because it's, it's it's a big change when you change the when you have this big time skip and the actors change and so much has happened in that space of time that we didn't get to see it, it will take me a second to just i don't know catch up a little bit but really good episode i'm still loving the show loving the characters have no idea where it's going to go now it's just it i have this feeling of impending doom every scene is so tense now i feel like everything's building up to something so can't wait for next week. Anyways, guys, that was my reaction to House of Dragon Season 1, Episode 6. Smash like button if you enjoyed this reaction. Let me know what you thought about the episode down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.